Edition 21. Hey everybody. How's it going today? My name is Madonna Ballard. Welcome to my channel. This is the 21st edition of Yarny Good News. Good news for everybody in our Yarny community. I mean, not everybody, but almost everybody. And yes, I look funny, but, and yet, I'm cold. I have 10,000 shawls. Can I find any? No, none. So, listen. Anyway, how y'all doing? And here we go. Welcome to Thursday, the 8th of October, 2020. Alvin C. York Day, American Touch Tag Day, International Lesbian Day, National Depression Screening Day, and World Octopus Day. Yay, Octavia! Is she an octopus? I think so. Oh, and she has that big one, too. She got... Oh, I already forgot his name. I'm sorry. Anyway, yay, World Octopus Day! The food holidays are Flutter Nutter and Pierogi. Birthdays, um, the only one I have is ZZ at Zelda NRJ3. Her birthday is the 15th. Yay, ZZ! She has a cow going on, the Just Feel Festive Shawl Cow. Um, you should check that out. I'll have a link on the bottom. And we'll have the, all the charities. There's a couple new ones. We have a new one from Fiber Hearts. And, um, a couple more new ones. Um, new and struggling channels. I have Patsy's Crochet. Um, she has currently 334, um, subscribers if you could go over and help her that would be wonderful um let's see what else do we have um giveaways tracy at crochet rocks um rocktober yarn giveaway cam at affordably crafty is working on a few cow mouths check out all the fun um creative grandma she Cat Matt Affordably Crafty is also having a pink yarn giveaway. She doesn't really care for pink. So she's going to give away all her pink yarn. Um, I'll have the link on the bottom for that. Creative Grandma. You should see how I spell creative. It's a good thing no one's reading this. Anyway, Creative Grandma. Glinda's having a giveaway of some Annie's kits. And the uh, Triple G... <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Triple C and Joe Show are having a pattern yarn and hook giveaway with Charday Crochet. I'll have a link for that on the bottom as well. Um, general news, we have fall tag questions that are going around. If you want to do that, that would be awesome. Make a video answering the questions. I'll have all those on the bottom. Um... And ZZ's cow, I'll have that on the bottom as well. Um, Grannies for Gramps Challenge, that's Tracy at Crochet Rocks. She issued a Grannies for Gramps Challenge to make something like a lapkin, a bed jacket, a shawl, anything to donate to locally, anything to donate locally to assisted living, nursing home, care centers, to let the folks know um, that are quarantined that we're still thinking about them. Um, Nance Next Knots is having a cow. I'm not sure what she's doing. Um, I watched three of her videos, but it looks fun, so check it out. And Fly Fiber Floozy Crafts is having a B Squared cow. Check that one out. And um, Dina's Homespun Fun is still doing her You Pick the Pattern. Those are always fun. So make sure you check that out. Um, the scheduled lives, we'll have those on the bottom as well. And, um, <coughs> excuse 
excuse me. Hook Me Up Crochet is um, joined up with Gia at Yarn Nut, and their, Gia is publishing some of Christie's YouTube tutorials to help give people ideas and inspiration on things to make with ice yarn. There's only a couple right now, but there'll be more soon. And I'll have a link to that as well. And just a second here. Okay. And we talked about Kim um her 10 or 60 skein giveaway that closes on the 10th. There's a bug in here. Um, and she'll be drawing the winner on the 10th on a live, her first live. And another small channel that's dirty, just starting out is Barbara at Crochet Therapy. And I don't have a link for it. I'm sorry, but it's Crochet Therapy. Um, she's going to do live streams at 7.30 in the morning on Wednesdays. Doesn't say what time zone, but I'm sure we'll get it figured out. And, um, wow, my mind is just not good. Sandy yet. Crochet A Canada um, is sending out packages for Sisterhood of the Traveling Hook, and um, they're going to be furls hooks. And um, you make something, and then I don't know how it goes. I'm not going to say. But anyway, all you Aussies out there, we need some more Aussies. Um, so far, they only have three, and she would love to have some more. Um, the more people, obviously, the more fun. So, get in contact with um, Sandy at Cro that bug. I know this is only good news, but that bug is going to kill me. Not kill me, but it's going to bug me, I guess. That's what it's supposed to do, I guess. But anyway, if you could join Sandy at Crochet A Canada, she needs more Aussies. Um, I'll put a link to her channel uh, um, on the bottom, and you can contact her. Come on, Aussies. We'd love to have some more Aussies. would be fantastic. Um, and I think that's it. Um, the prayers are next. Sorry, guys, I'm not with it yet, but I'm getting there. Okay. Let's get to the prayers. Where'd they go? There are a lot of prayers. Lots. Like hundreds. And what a blessing it is to be able to pray for our friends. Let me get my rosary beads here. My bread beads. There we go. Okay. And let's get started. Now I stalled long enough so those of you that don't want to pray can could have left and and if you did leave, why am I still talking to you? I know. Anyway, dear Lord, we send up these offerings um, today for all of our friends that are in need. You know their needs. You know their wants. You know what's best for them. Um, please hear our prayer and answer them. And first we have, give me that, give me that stick. Um, she has some ulcerations on her legs that are getting worse and worse. Dear Lord, please let those heal. Let the healing process start. Um, 
assist her and help her to get the right combination of things to make those ulcers start to heal. We have Tracy at Crochet Rocks who's feeling just a bit under the weather. So I wanted to stick her in there um, so she'd know that we're thinking about it and so she, she starts feeling better. Dear Lord, please help Tracy Rocks. Tracy at Crochet Rocks. Um, it may be a little thing, it may be a huge thing, but it, to you it doesn't matter. Just take care of it and get rid of it and restore her to her normal happy self. Um, Miguel that who knows is still healing, still in the process. Um, Lord help him to continue to get better and get him back up um, to where he needs to be quickly. Linda, just a crochet sister. Lord, you know she's one of my favorites. Um, also, Mimi, Betsy's Craft and Crojo. They both are suffering from back pain. Um, Linda is going through a little bit of depression, and but she's getting better. She's kicking its ass. Oh, sorry, Lord. And um, her heart is so big and giving. The same with Mimi's. Um, dear Lord, help these two wonderful women to fight their back pain. Not fight it, but to um, experience less pain. No pain would be awesome. You could do that. So if you did that for them, it would be great. Um, helps um, Sweet Tea and Linda, just a crochet sister, and um, who are both suffering from depression. Sweet Tea's husband is going through a mental illness, dementia, Alzheimer's. Um, help him and her son is in the military. Keep him safe and um, keep him healthy. So he can soon go home and see his mama. Um, Neva is also suffering from depression. Lord, please help her with her depression. Help her get to see her worth. Get her back to normal. Normal. Where she can join us again and um, have fun crocheting. Crocheting. Not knitting. Crocheting. Um... Bill, who is suffering from um, depression a little bit, um, he's mourning. Geneva, his wife, passed away. Please send Bill comfort. Let him know that we're all with him and we would do anything for him, anything that he needs. Um, Edna at oh, Grandma's. Crochet corn. I'm sorry, I can't remember Edna's channel name, but you know what it is, Lord. But help Edna um, with her pain in her shoulder and um, her workload and um, all the things that she tries to do in one day, Lord. Help her to get those things finished to her satisfaction. Let her see that she can only do so much and help her with the pain in her shoulder. Um, Donna with Noodly Bits, her son Dalton. We pray for him, um, whatever it is that he's going through, Lord, help him get through it and help him to um, return to his normal routine. Um, Lori at um, Crochet Corner 2, I'm sorry, I can't remember anybody's name today, I'm so sorry. But her husband's legs, Lord, we pray that you heal them. You get them back to normal, and you help both Lori and her husband um, feel better about life in general. Um, D, you know D. And Lord, I could spend hours on just stuff for D, things that I wish for her. I wish for her to be happy, and I wish for her to be healthy, and I wish for her to be. Um, satisfied um, she also needs lots of prayers for money for focus and to stay awake <coughs> sorry just a minute
Hillard, and we have Sylvia from Tabitha's Treasures. Her husband is in ICU and has MS. Please be with her husband, be with all the medical staff, um, help to get him home and to get him better. Um, Pink Kelly has headaches and neck pain and fruit, fruit, sorry, foot and leg pain. Dear Lord, help her with her pain. Um, help her to be able to get around better, to not have to struggle. And um, send her some pink stuff. Angel J, um, Lord, we pray that you heal her, that you get her into a better situation with her life, that you um, make things clear to her what she needs to do and heal her, Lord, um, be with all the medical staff, help her to get past this obstacle and to return to a life that she can enjoy 100%. Joni, whose mouth needs healing, um, and for a smooth move, I think she's already moved, Lord, but I hope it was smooth. Um, please heal her mouth. And sweet Melissa had surgery to get ready for dialysis. Dear Lord, help sweet Melissa. We love her so much. She is such a joy to everyone. Um, find her a kidney, I think is what she needs. Um, find one for her. Let her get back to normal life. Be with um, the medical staff and her family. Help them to under, be more understanding and supportive. Um, we love her so much. She's such a joy to everybody. Cindy Smith um, is home from an unexpected hot. Sorry. I tried to scroll down and now I lost my place. Um, home from an unexpected hot. Cindy Smith. From a hospital, much improved, but still needs prayer. Um, Tammy Slay, her mom and dad both had COVID. Also Tammy's sister, who has been taking care of um, their parents. Please, Lord, be with that family. Um, continue to heal her mom and her dad. And give her sister the strength that she needs to um, take care of both. Um, Christy Turley's father, Lord, we pray for him. Um, I know that he was on oxygen, and I think he got off it. I'm sorry, I'm not up to date on him, but you know what's going on. Take care of him, Lord. Um, Jeannie at Jeannie's Crochet Creations for stress and health for her daughter. Please be with these two women, Lord. Um, give them what they need. Let them um, feel better about where they're at in life, and that they go on to be productive and happy. Um, Brenda Land's husband um, tested positive for COVID. P please be with her husband, Lord. Heal him. Heal everybody that has that dreaded disease. Well, yeah, everybody. Um, we've lost so many lives, Lord. Please be with the, these people that have it and heal them. Um, Terry at Yarn Joy Podcast. Her son and daughter-in-law need prayer, Lord. Um, if you could find the obstacle in their life and, and remove it, um, we pray for your blessings on this whole family. Um, Helen at Starcross, um, her husband is suffering from pain with MS. Please, Lord, be with her hubby. Take away the pain. Take away um, the doubt, the stress, the pressure. Be with them and both and um, let them know your love. Laura Lee's granddaughter needs prayer, Lord. Um, if you could be with the family, especially um, her granddaughter at this time, um, let them know how much you love them. Show them your mercy and your love. Dawn at Whips and Chains Crochet, her whole family, Lord, we pray for that family. We pray for any stress, any tension, any um, anger. 
whatever it is that is wrong with the family, any illness, take it away and restore that family to um, loving each other. Um, one virtuous woman, we pray, Lord, she lost everything in a fire, in the California fires. Um, I know you've blessed her a thousand times, but continue to do so, Lord. Um, she is one woman that really loves you, Lord, so be with her and, and help her to get through this um, horrible, horrible ordeal. Dallas County Scratcher, please, Lord, be with him and his wife. Um, help them to get through day to day. Um, help them to get a place to live, um, food to eat, whatever it is they need, Lord. Um, please be with them and please um, provide that. All those affected by the fires and storms, all the people fighting the fires, firefighters, first responders, medical personnel, um, police officers, everybody, Lord, that's um, in with the fires. I know they're not as bad as they were, but they're still burning. Um, please put the, help put those fires out. Help the earth can get better and um, heal. We ask all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Okay, you guys. Just bless everybody. Everybody. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the night. And um, I hope your whole week until next week when we do get together again is awesome and wonderful. And thank you all for watching. And Lord, everybody that's blessed me with anything, with email, with a card, with a kind word in a live, or a kind word on my videos, um, or the many, many gifts, the yarn, the stitch markers, the bags, the um, just everything, Lord. Linda, who keeps giving me, seems like every time I get a, a present, it's bigger. Um, TV, a computer. Um, dear Lord, please bless all these people that have been so good to me and blessed me. Um, every single one of them that, like I said, has even left a, a comment. Bless them, Lord. And let them know how much they are appreciated and how much I really, really do um, love all of it. Thank you, Lord. And you all have a great rest of the week, and I promise it'll get better. Um, this is my first time back after a while, so we'll get better, I promise. Thank you, everybody, and laugh, 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 because life's too short not to.